Hi everyone! In this video, we'll continue working with the program we wrote in our previous video titled Using the Scanner class in Eclipse. We will first update our top of the page comment to further describe the program. So I will add the comment that the program then finds the average of four numbers entered by the user. So to do that, before we close um, our scanner, what we'll do is define four variables to hold four numbers entered by the user. And the data type that we can use to store number variables could be an integer. So we start off by typing number one for our first variable, number two for our second variable, number three for our third variable, and number four for our last variable. Next, we want to ask the user to enter the four numbers and store each user's input in each one of these variables. So we start off by giving a message to the user. And this time I'll use print only, so there will be no line after the message. So enter number one. And we'll save the result in the first variable, number one. And using the reference for our scanner object, we'll use the method called next integer to get the number entered by the user. Now to make um, the next few steps a little bit easier, we can copy these two lines and paste them, but we do have to make some editing. So now it's number two and number two. We also want to add a new line to separate the previous input or the previous line by giving us a new line. This is like hitting enter. And uh, we'll do the same for our third number. And one more time for our fourth number. And I'll remember to put the new line there. Okay, so what we can do now is actually run the program and see um, what message we, we get. So, welcome test, that's what we did first. So, for uh, notice that the input goes on the same line, so that's what print does. And five, uh, six, seven. Okay, nothing happens because we haven't done anything yet. So what we'll do now is um, calculate the average. So what we need to do in order to find the average is define a variable to hold the average of the four numbers. Since an average could hold uh, could be a decimal, then we will define it as a double. So we do double, and the name of our variable is average. Next, we want to calculate the average. So we could give a message or a comment. This is for a single line comment. So um, double forward slashes. Calculate the average. So we go average is equal to something divided by four, since we know we've only got four numbers. So we would need to add number one plus number two plus number three and our fourth number. And the only thing left now is to actually display the average to the user. We will give the message the average is and plus the average, the value, the variable there. Let's run the program and see if we are getting correct results. So welcome test. Our first value would be 4, and our second value would be 5, and our third value would be 6, and our fourth one would be 7. Notice that the result is 5.0. It should be 5.5. In the next video, I'll explain why we got this result 
and what we can do to have it display the decimal 0.5 for 5.5.